Mowgli was a young boy who lived in the jungle with his old family. He loved to explore and learn new things, but he also faced many dangers and enemies. One of them was Shere Khan, the fierce tiger, who hated Mowgli and wanted to kill him. Shere Khan was cunning and powerful. He often hunted Mowgli with his allies, the Bandarlok, the monkey people. One day Mowgli was wandering in the jungle looking for honey and fruits. He came across a large tree that had a hole in his trunk. He climbed up the tree and peeked inside the hole, hoping to find some honeycombs. But instead of honey, he found a pair of yellow eyes staring back at him. It was Ka, the giant python, who lived in the tree. Ka was an old and wise snake who knew many secrets of the jungle. He was also a friend of Mowgli who had saved him from the Bandarlog once. Ka greeted Mowgli with a hiss and invited him to enter his home. Hello, little brother, Ka said. What brings you to my tree? Hello, Ka, Mowgli said. I was looking for honey, but I found you instead. Honey is sweet, but wisdom is sweeter, Ka said. Come in, come in. I have something to show you. Mowgli was curious and followed Ka into the hole. Inside, he saw a large chamber filled with bones and kins of various animals that Ka had eaten over the years. Among them, he saw the cull, skulls and pelts of tigers. Wow, Mowgli said. You have killed many tigers, Ka. Yes, I have, Ka said, and I will tell you how I did it. Ka then told Mowgli a story about how he had once fought and defeated Shere Khan's father, who was the king of jungle at that time. He told him how he had used his strength, speed, stealth, and cunning to outsmart and overpower the tiger. He told him how he had wrapped himself around the tiger's body and squeezed him until he stopped breathing. He told him how he had dragged the tiger's corpus to his tree and devoured him. Mowgli listened with awe and admiration to Ka's story. He felt a surge of courage and confidence in his heart. Ka, you are amazing, Mowgli said. You are stronger and smarter than any tiger. Thank you, little brother, Ka said. But you are also amazing. You are brave and clever than any human. Really? Mowgli said. Yes, really, Ka said. You have survived in the jungle since you were a baby. You have learned the ways of the wild from your old family and your other friends. You have faced many dangers and challenges and you have overcome them all. But Shere Khan still wants to kill me, Mowgli said. That is true, Ka said, but you do not need to fear him. You have something that he does not have. What is that, Mowgli asked. Freedom, Ka said. Freedom, Mowgli repeated. Yes, freedom, Ka said. You are free to roam the jungle as you please. You are free to choose your own path and destiny. You are free to be yourself. But Shere Khan is also free, Mowgli said. No, he is not, Ka said. He is bound by his pride and hatred. He is bound by his fear and anger. He is bound by his hunger and greed. What do you mean, Mowgli asked. I mean that Shere Khan is a slave of his own emotions, Ka said. He is driven by his desire to rule the jungle and kill you. He is binded by his arrogance and envy. He is consumed by his... Rage and revenge, and that makes him weak, Mowgli said. Yes, that makes him weak, Ka said, because he cannot see beyond himself, because he cannot control himself, because he cannot change himself. So what should I do, Mowgli asked. You should do what I do, Ka said. What do you do, Mowgli asked. I do what I want, Ka said. What do you want, Mowgli asked. I want to live, Ka said. Just live, Mowgli asked. Yes, just live, Ka said. Live in harmony with nature, live in peace, peace with myself, live in joy with my friends. That sounds simple, Mowgli said. It is simple, Ka said, but it is also profound. It is the essence of wisdom. Wow, Mowgli said, you are very wise, Ka. Thank you, little brother, Ka said, but you are also wise. You have learned a lot from me and from others. You have grown a lot from your experiences. You have wisdom in your heart. Thank you, Ka, Mowgli said. You are welcome, little brother, Ka said. 
Now let me, let me show you something else. Ka then led Mowgli to another chamber where he had a collection of shiny objects that he had found in the jungle. There were coins and jewels, rings and bracelets, necklaces and crowns. They sparkled and glittered in dim light. Wow, Mowgli said, these are beautiful. Yes, they are, Ka said, but they are also worthless. Worthless, Mowgli said. Yes, worthless, Ka said. They have no use or value in the jungle. They are only attractive to humans who are greedy and foolish. They kill each other for these things and they lose their freedom and happiness. Really, Mowgli said. Yes, really, Ka said. I have seen it many times. Humans come to the jungle looking for these things. They fight with each other and they disturb the animals. They destroy the trees and the rivers. They bring misery and death to themselves and others. That is sad, Mowgli said. It is said. It is sad, Ka said, but it is also stupid. These things are not worth dying for. They are not worth living for. Then why do you keep them, Mowgli asked. I keep them as a reminder, Ka said. A reminder of what, Mowgli asked. A reminder of what not to be, Ka said. What not to be, Mowgli asked. Yes, what not to be, Ka said. Not to be like humans. Not to be greedy and finish. Foolish. Not to be proud and hateful. Yes, what not to be, Ka said. Not to be like humans, not to be greedy and foolish, not to be proud and hateful, not to be fearful and angry. Then what should I be, Mowgli asked. You should be what you are, Ka said. What am I, Mowgli asked. You are a child of the jungle, Ka said. A child of the jungle, Mowgli repeated. Yes, a child of the jungle, Ka said. You belong to the jungle and the jungle belongs to you. You are a part of nature and nature is part of you. You are a friend of the animals and the animals are your friends. That sounds wonderful, Mowgli said. It is wonderful, Ka said. It is the best way to live. I agree, Mowgli said. Good, Ka said. Then remember this. The jungle is your home and your home is your treasure. The animals are your family and your family is your wealth. The nature is your teacher and your teacher is your wisdom. I will remember that, Ka, Mowgli said. Good, Ka said. Then you will be happy and free. Then you, Ka, Mowgli said. You are welcome, little brother, Ka said. They smiled at each other and hugged with their coils and arms.